guys and welcome back to Ganji Plans. Today's video um, kind of doesn't fit in with my life right now because I'm actually still on maternity leave, but I wanted to show you something in my work bullet journal today. Um, I have a couple more videos I've done in my work bullet journal up in the corner. I'll link uh, at least the one of them that is in the same system for the same bound journal. This is a moleskin grid journal. Let me just see. Straight up. I think it's a five millimeter grid you know these are available at target and such um today i wanted to show you an element of the bullet journal system that gets overlooked a lot it's like the very first thing that is talked about in the system and really the thing that makes it unique and it's also the thing that a lot of people tend to gloss over ignore not use and i can see why but I'm going to show you why it's super important for me in my work bullet journal. And that is obviously the index. Um, first, get it out of the way. I know it's actually a table of contents, but it's called an index in the bullet journal system. And so that's what we're going with. Um, and heads up in advance that a lot of this is heavily redacted. There's stickiness everywhere just because I don't want to accidentally show something I shouldn't. Because this is, you know, my company has information in here. So uh, this is my index, and you'll see in these different colors here, uh, I, I color code each month just to give it a little tiny bit of visual interest. Um, I've got every month, you know, at the beginning of each month, I index where that is in the journal if I have to go back to a certain period of time. But I also index all kinds of stuff in here, and you don't have to only index a, like a full page. I'll get to that in a second. So the first page I'm going to show you today is indexed here on pages 16 and 17. This is actually a lot of stuff collections um, that got transferred over from my previous Moleskine, which I think might be the one that's in that previously linked video, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm in, I think, my fourth work bujo since I started using this system. Um, and so at the beginning when I'm setting everything up, I'll migrate all of my collections over into one big page because a lot of these collections, as you'll see, are very short. So I have left just like one uncovered here. Um, basically, this is the instructions for how to set up the dial by name. Uh, it's like the audio doc, uh, what's it called? When you call in and you don't know the extension of the party you wish to reach, you dial by name. And so whenever we get a new employee, one of my responsibilities is adding them to that registry. And so instead of like having that loose piece of paper that was somewhere on my desk, I find, you know, I, I wrote down the steps. It doesn't take up an entire page, but there it is. So that's useful. A lot of like uh, SOP, like how to do stuff. There's a lot of notes like that in my journal and I find it super useful. Now the next page I'm going to show you is page let's see 103 down here. You'll notice, um, well you may not notice because like I said it's all covered up. This is a daily header up here. This is just some dailies um, they will take up as much or as little of the page as they need to, but I sometimes will honestly just put a little bit of a collection here in the corner of the page that we're already on and index this. Basically, I needed to know how to check my voicemail remotely because I was going to be working from home, and so I put that note here so I wouldn't forget how to do that. Um, and again, just indexed that note. So I wouldn't lose it. Um, the last page I'm showing you here is, let's see, 117, 116. Let's see, yeah. So you see it's indexed here as zone charges. Here, it literally doesn't even have a header. I was just talking to my supervisor that day, asked, you know, got clarification about one element of what I'm doing, which is basically travel charges. Um, and so I just index that. So like, even if I'm just in the middle of my day, just jot down something on the daily page and I index that. And so there's all kinds of stuff you'll see here in my index. 
Um, I've got like my list of stuff that I have to order from Staples every time instead of just wandering aimlessly and ordering what seems to be missing. Like I have a checklist of what to check to see if we need to restock. Um, like our tax ID number, um, the sales regions, like who's in charge of each sales region. Little things that don't take up a full page. I will just literally jot them down in the middle of my daily and then make sure um, it's like once a month. I don't index it immediately. It's like I don't have to stop what I'm doing to index it. But as I'm going to set up each additional month and, you know, write down these color coded ones, I will go back and just review the previous month. I'll see if there's any outstanding tasks or something that got missed in the you know migration to the next page. Um, and if anything is in between where the month starts and the new month begins, if there's anything in there that might ever be useful again, I'll pop it onto my index. And then uh, when I move out of this journal, which I will at some point, obviously, um, Anything that's still relevant and useful will get put on like the reference pages at the beginning and I'll just continue to do the same thing. Um, and this becomes my brain when I'm at work. It really does. It's great because I can just take notes in a meeting. I can, you know, just keep track of like how to actually do something and I know where, where everything is and I don't have just like random pieces of paper all over my desk like I used to before I used this system. So I thought that would be useful for you. I know that it's not so, fl so flashy and I can't show you like everything in here because like I said, sensitive information. But I did want to sort of extol one element of the Buddha system that doesn't get talked about a lot or that gets, like I said, glossed over. I see a lot of videos of people saying, oh yeah, here's my Bujo. I set up an index. I never use it. Or I didn't bother to set up an index this time. Uh, but you know, it's kind of the foundational thing that makes a bullet journal a bu bullet journal. And I find that it can actually, especially in a work context, be super useful. So I hope you found that video useful to yourself. I think I already said that, but uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe below. I post planner content every Thursday, as well as a grab bag of fun family stuff on Sundays. So I will see you in the next one then. Um, until then, have a great week, and I hope that you make it productive. Bye.